Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your truly the Trigger Tree here from the Good Old Killer Instinct Squad. Today we're playing some more. Actually, we're playing something new, not some more. Today we're playing Batman, a Telltale game. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. Uh, today's episode, episode one, Realm of Shadows. Yes, no more Walking Dead games. We beat them all. Make sure I selected the right thing. We'll go with that. There we go, face cam was frozen for a second. And they blasted his ass. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Everyone on YouTube, this was originally a live Twitch broadcast. Oh, Christ. Move in. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Uh-oh, there he is. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> Those were as bad, man. Keep his ass in the window. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're oh. shot out of the Mama sky. Need something to fear. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. <laughs> Shit! Gone. Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Back 
Lisa back. Circle up. How the hell's gonna work? Oh. <coughs> what the hell is this? <coughs> <coughs> There is one. There goes two. Oh. All your friends tied up around you. I know you're trying to create a myth. But be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh. Oh. Take that. Take this ass open. Just a Batman? Okay. Teach you to knock. Catwoman. Behind you, big boy. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Hey, Dark Link, thanks for stopping by. Without a scratch. So far. I'll give you a shout out, but it might screw up everything. I was everything. wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Yeah, let's try Squeeze it. Squeeze into a suit. Tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up Shout out Darkling Vortex X. Huh. So brooding. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Oh yeah, come on, bitch. Get this ass open, Catwoman. No, you don't. Hands are rated E for everyone. Women deserve equal rights and lefts.
It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh, God shit. damn it. But I don't shoot you. No. Motherfucker. Wait. Get over the shot. Batman thought that one through. wrong about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours. so you can't show sure. give up there's no way out <laughs> I should have said me. talk or I drop Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Welcome Manor. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we Thereby will no change life. Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, 
So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the, the sooner shift. everyone will leave you alone. Just working the night shift. Yeah, well then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. Mm -hmm. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. I'm gonna finish my journey. in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. Yeah, I'm gonna finish my journey. help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Put a dent in all crime. Right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. My boy drinking the whole bottle. Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, It's like Bruce. a party on Regina Epstein's Island. Regina's the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. They probably got little Plus kids tied up in the cell Hill somewhere. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street. But I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all... Whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone Tonight like you to lead Harvey. this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that cape Take care of that free, payment dealing now. out vigilante well, justice money. like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think Depends so. Depends on the man. That's how you get creeps no, like this Harvey Dent Batman. Can. Harvey Dent is our best shot. No problem, man. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... I'm gonna say we're here for Harvey, not me. Well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. And thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. 
Ooh, we got cups that ironically look like upside down gold mirrors. I'm eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Let me say you can stay, Miss Vale. For Mr. Wayne. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce. This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. Come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Politics bore Just between me. us. Politics bore them. Okay, I see the stream is screwing up again. Not enough action. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've you've the got The thing is I don't know what's blood. causing it. Um is that blood? Has to do with draw yeah. frame rates. It looks like It's just one. Spilled some wine. Yeah, it'll come out. I'm stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. I never stain. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. And I'm also and recording while I'm streaming, so there'll be a clearer video on YouTube it. when I post it. Because I don't upload the Carmen VODs. Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. I'm gonna say I'm trusting you, Harvey. Directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. Hey, no Jersey Hobboy, how's it going? Every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't Thanks for stopping by. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, Let's talk privately. Flash, no class. Let's... Talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Oh, he's trying to set me up. You're a respectable man, I hear. I guess I'll shake his hand. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At You'll be fine out there, Hart. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. I'll talk with Falcone alone. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law. And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. 
Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, Making imagine, a deal with the devil. this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If I'm just doing this for Harvey. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked. Trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Sometimes I'll talk about my father. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Wait, that was it? I was gonna say, I was pretty sure. It's me. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of God's I'm gonna, uh, most promising I'm doing something on my phone real quick. And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg process. Hey, Jack, now 2000. How's it going? Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area. Thanks for stopping by. If you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. Mm. And one 
See if we can get some subtitles. I don't know if they're on. Yeah, I'm doing all right, my guy. Been having uh, issues with the stream lately. It's not as bad as it was last week. Fell off a building for this? Let's check this out. I'm a pretty fast reader. His parents knew these tickets. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison, half mental hospital to fail the poor. Let's find out what was so important. Let's find out what it's worth falling off a building for. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. Man, I mean, no child porn in a on dark, there. damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm gonna say I'm I like more this cave. Than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur. Cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Yeah, right now it's like it's holding pretty mm. decent, so I figured I'd stream. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove game. from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Oh, I'm gonna go grab me another drink. And use the rest, she'll be right back.
Hey, Afflictions TV, thanks for that. Much appreciation. Want to get the drink real quick. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. All right, check the codex. Got them theme codex. <laughs> Found her. Oh, that's just great. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. She seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending. Gotta do a battery switch. There we go. Up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. That guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together I I got the spare battery. at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. Almost like this city you have to be here. careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes. You drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Take the business card. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's oh, a criminal got grand slam, if I'm record. using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. You think he's looking for a handout? He would have come to the right person. No, because I'm... Because you're generous. A little too much sometimes, with your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't... That's just a weird the name, Oswald Cobblepot. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you... you sound will. like a pedophile name. I ain't looking at no newspaper. Give us some change. Uh, thank you, sir. 
Now, what you gonna do for that? You gonna suck my dick or what? No? No head? Okay. <sighs> Great. Well, there's the statue, but no eyes. Hey. Beat it. Okay, I'll beat it. They're seriously not letting me go up there. Oh, there's something over here. I can look at the statue. Look at graffiti. Look at statue. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? I'm gonna say try and take it. Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're ah. in the moment! Come here! Damn. I think that'll do! Oh. Oh. Take this ass with me. Let me get that off you, homeboy. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh. Oh. My park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little uh Yeah. Good as new. Woo! That was a right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline. Almost eh? I had that handled. Hey, I could have handled that myself. You mean a knife handle in the back? Because that's what would have happened, mate. No offense. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A yeah, place it looks was like safe shit. for kids. For families. People came from all over to visit. Yeah, this place is a wreck. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. This place is a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. This park still matters to me, Bruce. It's all my folks left behind. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. I lost Northern my parents too. Round the world vacations. Unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it. But I had my own funerals to attend. You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought... Bruce Wayne. Ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. It shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. 
made himself right at home. That oil. We'll say it's not what you think. <sighs> no, 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 no. I only agreed to meet him because of Harvey. Beware of any man who smiles that much, Bruce. They're usually hiding a forked tongue. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, I'm gonna say it's you not won't gonna win that pretty. battle. It's gonna be beautiful. That's a battle you won't win, Oz. No. Oh, I've learned a thing or three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. It's a nice ride. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but. Boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents would be honored. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. <clears throat> Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Oh, fuck all that. Let's put a dent this in this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. That didn't come Today, out right. On the anniversary of that fateful night, 
We dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vail. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Tear it down. We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. We... All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. He was Harvey's guest. Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Oh, I didn't mean to throw him under the bus. Question? Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital. I didn't mean to stitch him out. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I doubt your evidence. And did anyone else receive this? Evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? Over. All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights <coughs> off, keep a low profile. I'm gonna say go ahead and do your job. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence. And any Who company authorized you're, this? Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Then you do what he says? <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Pick that up.
Oh, you just had to break that picture. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this! I didn't mean to interrupt, but... I'm gonna say, no problem at all. Uh, it's... it's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. You say I appreciate I it. appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran not every day you get to go after I don't think Falcone's behind that. Bill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not uh, wild speculation. Might as well. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. My family the is Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had, and never will have, connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Ray. No, they come out on top, but they were in that alley. Thomas I and Martha got it, unalive. Everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a say someone's bath. after me. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Gay! Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He blindsided both of us. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. 
Hey, I Silent don't Shade, get it. thanks for stopping by. Why would Hill stick his neck out over How's your day going? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish I'm other than a few cheap to find headlines? Out. That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. You must say we stick together. jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. That's a nice clip. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I almost said I think we've met. I almost said Bruce Wayne. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss. Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, we'll I guess see I'll what happens to her eye one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? That's okay. <laughs> Money How'd you get that shiner? Hands, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. So what did you lose? Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We, we should say, just be thankful you, you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. If she knows us soon. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Yep, she knows. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. I'm not gonna say sorry about the eye. Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... I'm going to say I'm the good guy. Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl. Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. Who I'm used to robbing you? people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. 
These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed, and I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I'm gonna say I, I can don't help like you. consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. We'll say you You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people both working shit. it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. At the warehouse, no sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh, get the guts on the ground. Oh, I get to control the Batman? Okay. Look at scorch marks. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. Oh, that's a person? I thought those were his guts over there. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen oh, these yeah, outfits before. There. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Probably should have looked inside first. I'm sitting here opening random ass doors. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Hmm. 
canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a good question. A shot cop. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Yeah, they managed to knock him over a forklift. So they must have shot him with something strong. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Let's take a look at these people over here. No. That bad? Bro, half his face is gone. Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. He crispy. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Yep. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Stairs? No, I cannot. So whatever I'm looking for is down here somewhere. Okay, I swore I thought Buddy here moved. I can't go up there. What about this green light? No. Hold up. Let's try that. The cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. Agent could make them psychotic. Can I unlink that? Where am I going to link that to? This over here? of metal is from the exploding canister but I need to know what caused the explosion
Area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. Okay, so we can't go out to Detroit. killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops <coughs> moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent, a cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. That right, means more. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Okay, 
that's what's up, man. Thanks for stopping by. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Oh. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Oh, classic. Well, I forget it's actually more like New School. Classic Batman Adam West era wasn't like this. This is more like the Dark Knight Batman. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to Give stop. Give me a reason to stop. <laughs> you know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. No, we didn't intimidate. Tell me. That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Please don't. I start here. And keep breaking until you answer. The yeah. chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I mean... break it anyway. You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! They're gonna need to call the corner instead. I was wrong. Gonna need that ambulance, too. What the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? That man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. Bitch, I'm bad, man. did I. I did what I had to do. Look, I did what, what you had to, but at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave.
You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. Except the tokens. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Back computer. It looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. But it I'm goes say back some years. kind of blackmail. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. Yeah, she could. I suppose it comes down to who you or want to help Or just fuck most. everything up. Or who you think could do the most good. I'm going with my boy James Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This, this is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. We'll say I trust you. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. Not so I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. 
If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. You gotta understand, I'm bound to this badge. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene, haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Ooh, told him. It's done. Good, so is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Floating in the sky, or is that a glitch? The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right, let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. Dude, I know what he looks like. What's this? That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. A couple of options for taking this guy down. Staircase. Oh, okay, so I guess I map out how I'm gonna take them all out, okay. Where are we gonna put you? Possible surprise. Oh, there's some here. his head on the table. And where's his 
last one. Where's the last one? Is it him? This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. Where's he gonna go? The ceiling? No. Oh, upper balcony. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Still 
want to play games. We're all being played here, couldn't you? Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <coughs> They're what? behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Damn. They just opened and fire? Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, and this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have nice such name, assurances. Jack Rutter. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Is that it? Episode 1, Realm of Shadows. Alright, let's look at some, uh... Credits. Well, I look for someone to read, because I'm about to end the broadcast. Shout out to Dark Link Vortex for moderating, to everybody on YouTube watching this. Past broadcasts, be sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'm going to find someone to raid and hurry up and get out of here. Let's see who's online. Oh, Stellar Death's on.
Okay, we can read him. <laughs> 